Okay, here we have a slip eccentric little uh, mill engine, little vertical mill engine. I suspect that it was built to do a job. It's uh, made out of casting, factory made, and it's uh, what we call a slip eccentric. And we'll uh, take a look at that in a, in a couple minutes. It's a nice little engine. It's got nice castings, and it's covered on the side so it don't sling the oil all over everything. The uh, piston is domed and the head is domed like a hemi head inside. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the boiler that uh, actually ran that engine. And uh, it's a pretty darn nice boiler. It, uh, I'd say that thing weighs close to 100 pounds. And uh, let's see, you can see the tubes in there. I think they're half inch, but uh, maybe three quarter. I guess they're three quarter. Got a little pop off, I think it's 60 pounds. Got a nice, uh, nice valve on it. Got the water glass. If the glass is missing, that's not a problem. You can get that off the internet. Got the tricocks, all three tricocks are there. Got the grate in there for the, for the coal or the wood. I'm pretty sure it's ready to go. I put air on it, no problem. I haven't put water in it yet. But uh, anyway, there it is. Let's take a look at this slip eccentric. The uh, engine is turning this way, turning that way. Let's try that again. Turning that way. And now we'll turn it off. And we'll turn the engine the other way. And that changes the eccentric. Now it goes the other direction. Now it's turning that a direction. And from what I can tell, they call that a, a slip eccentric. Let's see if that thing will run. That's a really nice running little engine. I'd say it's about 16 inches high. How can you beat that? Got a nice putt to it. Got an oiler on the bearing. Slip eccentric. Let's go ahead and reverse it again. Very tight, there's no no apparent knocking or loose bearings or anything in it. I'd be more than happy to share these two items with somebody if they felt like they needed them. And of course, we still have some marine engines that uh, we could also share some really nice, nice engines. They're all on, uh, there's YouTube videos of them. And uh, we'd be more than happy to share any of them with anybody. That little green one's a nice little engine. So anyway, here we have it. Look around here. Got the little rods that protect the glass. Very nice boiler. It's uh, one of the nicer boilers I've ever seen. 
and it's got the blow down valve. Well, thanks for watching Rogers Freestyle Machine Shop. Remember, you're better off to do it poorly than not at all. That's the, that's the, the uh, boiler firing up there.